Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add substance materials to your project. Please use the landscape layer blend tutorial before. I will continue to work on this one. The first thing we have to do is to go to the marketplace and search for the plugin from substance. Type in substance and here is the substance in Unreal Engine. So go in there and install it to your engine. I have it already installed and yeah, so I will not install it again, but you should do it. After we have installed it, we will open up our landscape tutorial. Once it loaded, we want to go to our plugins for a uh, setting here, go to everything installed here, and it should appear here. If it not appears here, you can search for it. So enable it and restart. The next part would be to search for substance materials. For this, we go onto Firefox, go to Google, and we want to search for substance content share. It should be this site here, substance share point algorithmic point com. And inside here, we have some free materials by substance or by their user base. Under materials, we have a bright collection of many good looking textures. So you can pick one of them and add them to your project. I will use here a ground mud texture to add to our landscape. Let's actually use the forest mud here. I think that looks quite good. Um, I want to say also that the size sometimes lags. So if you um, experience lags here, you should just wait and visit in another hour here. So click on download. And after we have downloaded it into our landscape tutorial folder, we want to go to the project and open our explorer. See here is the project based. And inside here we have a forest mod and I want to extract it here. You need to make sure that we have here an SBS RAW. This is the format for substance. Let's create a new folder for this substance material. Substance. And inside here we want to have the forest mud. And there we can import it now. When you don't see here the SBS R or SBSR, then you have not installed the substance plugin. So make sure you have it installed correctly and enabled. Then we can just import it. Once you have loaded everything in, we have here our um, yeah, materials, which is this one. And here you can see the material. If you want to change this material, you don't need to have to have substance. This is very cool. You can just add here the uh, Pratsura Forest Mud substance um, yeah, actor. And inside here, you can change everything and you will get another material for it. So if you want to have the height for the layer blend height, you just click just on it and you, it will appear here. I think this is very cool. And we can also add, for example, leaves on or off. We could add the water amount. For example, we want to have no water on it. We press zero and it should disappear. If we have it here, I think, yeah, here. Now the water has disappeared. I think this is very cool and you can just change it from here. And also you could change this at runtime. For this changes, we're gonna work it in the next tutorial. But for now, we will leave it as it is. So we revert this to 0.52 and we save it. And in this tutorial, we're gonna work now on the tessellation. So it looks even better. So um, yeah, let's go into our landscape master. And let's add here the forest thing. So we put this a bit up here. And we want to add another one here called forest mud or something. Make sure to copy it and make it a hate plant. Same goes for here. Add it, open it up, paste it, and pick this one. And same goes for here. Nice. So for the first one, we want to get here the base color again and put it in. 
RGB and the eighth. And we want to again copy the tiling so we can change the parameters inside the instance. And here we just want to call it forest not again. Let's paint this one, or let's actually uh, make the forest map the preview weight. So we make here this one one, and we make the grass zero, so we can actually see it here in our preview and work with it. So here it looks a bit weird at the moment, so let's add the normal. Copy it here, and we put it in here. And also let's copy the tiling. Again here also preview weight on the uh, forest mud and here it should be zero. And same for this one for the roughness. So make it zero and make this one one. Now we don't have here a roughness at the moment, so let's add it, let's pull it up, go back into here, and from the roughness we have this one. Very simple. And get the tiling again. My bad, I connected to the wrong one here. Connected to the layer of forest mud, of course. Yeah, that's much better. Um, yeah, for the tessellation, we um, have also added the eight. So let's bring it in here. Inside of forest mud, we have it here. And we want to have the landscape master in here. So first, we all again want to have the. Whoops, sorry, I uh, deleted it here. I want to copy and paste it. And inside our um, yeah, master node here, we want to search for the tessellation. So let me first check it up here. I think it's somewhere at the bottom. There it is. We want to have the P and triangles. And for the maximum displacement, we can set here some values, but uh, I guess I will leave it as it is. Well, let's cap it at 15. For example, uh, you need to play with this way later when you have some problems. Yeah, let's add first the world displacement here. For this one, we're gonna need the texture sample, and again, we need is this the correct one? Yeah, we need the tiling. Connect both, bring it a bit back, bring this one here in. Um, yeah, first of all, we want from the red channel multiply. Then we want to have a um, scalar parameter for the forest mud distance. Whoops, this was not good. Again, forest mud distance. I hmm. guess it's too long. So let's just call it forest distance. Like this. Yeah, this works. Um, for the distance, we will use here something like 15 at first. We can play with these values. Then we want to multiply it again with the vertex normal. Multiply it here from the output. And then we want to multiply this one into the layer forest mud for the tessellation and then for the tessellation multiplier let's just actually put in again a new blend one and we add from the layer forest mud a scalar parameter again which will be our forest test multiplier we can set this one 20. These are the default values I found on the website, so we need now to play with those. Let's see how it looks when we put in here a uh, 10, for example. Ah, far better. 
we have a here a 3D effect, but it's not as, yeah, dump as before. So yeah, let's use this actually. Apply this one and save. Next, go to your landscape here and actually click on it. And let's see if it's loaded the new texture here. It's not loaded at the moment, so we put in the instance again here. Then when we go here, we have the forest mod. Wait for the compiler to, um, it's the shader to compile, sorry. And once this is finished, we have here some bad images. Just add the weight layer for the forest mod. Press OK. And then let's actually look if we can paint here. No, we can't. I guess this is some problems with here. Let's see if we want to have the preview. Again, back to the grass. What is going to show us? And for the normal also. Apply and save and let's check it out. Inside here it's now showing correctly and here it's again compiling. It's loaded now and let's test our forest mod. If it's painting correctly here, again it needs to paint uh, to compile every time you add into a new component part here. So you can, if you want, this is not working, so let's look into the mistake I made. Actually, I did no, not a mistake, I it just needed to compile. So here's our forest mud, and yeah, it looks quite nice, I think. So we could actually work now on the, um, yeah, on the instance, so it doesn't look like this anymore, with this 3D effect, but a little bit better. Go back here to places, so we ha don't have this brush here. Go into the material instance and let's search for the forest test multiplier and the forest distance. And let's work also on the tiling. Let's make it 0.5. It's a bit better, I guess. Now let's look into the tessellation. Okay, it does something in the distance there. And the distance at all does something inside here. So maybe we need to rename them. Let's put in here two, three maybe. Looks okay, I guess. Let's use four or five. Yeah, five is okay, I think. Yeah, and I think this looks quite nice. Uh, let's get here our player character and put him in here somewhere like this so we can watch it inside the game. There it is. I think it looks quite nice, better than the normal textures. Yeah, and that's it for this tutorial. I think in the next tutorial we're gonna um, work on the parameters from the um, substance here, how we can change this in Blueprint. Uh, so we can uh, change the water amount and others, the other things at runtime. Thanks for watching and yeah, have a nice day. Bye.